Hi, this is Guru from GuruWrites.com with part 5 of the C-Sharp tutorial series Naming Conventions and Syntaxes In C-Sharp, everything from building keywords to user-defined literals are case-sensitive. For example, the console class is case-sensitive. A lowercase c doesn't work for us. In the similar fashion, the namespace keyword begins with a lowercase n and uppercase n wouldn't work for us. c -sharp follows Java-like style for coding. Most of the keywords like namespace, class, static, void are all case sensitive, including user-defined literals like naming conventions, program, main method are all case sensitive. So the first point to remember, everything in C-sharp is case sensitive. The second thing you need to remember is that the C-sharp compiler doesn't care in what format you've written your code. So if I drop everything in here in just one line, it still works fine. So if I scroll right and show you here, everything is in just one line. If I try to compile the application and start without debugging by using control F5 function key, it works fine. Because the C-sharp compiler, all it cares about is that you use the semicolon to terminate your statement at the right locations. Just like the English language follows standards for syntax and you need to put a full stop where you need to stop mentioning your story. In C sharp, we use a semicolon to mark the end of the statement. Semicolon in here is required. Now if you try to compile the application and debug and run it, it runs fine. Since we are humans, let's make this document format properly so that we can read this. Go to edit, choose advanced and choose format document. It formats your document the way it is easily readable for a human being. You can also use this shortcut key combination, control E followed by control D. Identifier names can include alphanumeric. Let's have a look at this. So if you come to Visual Studio, we have an identifier which is defined by the user, which is me. I have defined a class called Rules99. As long as this Rules, which is an identifier, has an alphanumeric character, it works fine. You can also have the numbers in between somewhere, it still works fine. The second important point to mention about the syntax is you cannot include special characters except an underscore character. Let's take a look at this. So if you look at the second rule in here, rule has rule, dollar and percentage and a few lot of exclamation marks which are special characters that isn't allowed. Let's look at the third rule. You must start with an alpha bet or you should start with an underscore but not with a number. So if you look at rule 3, we are starting with a number and henceforth 99 rules shows you a red wiggly underline displaying the error message clearly. But in the second instance of the third comment you can see we have mentioned only rules and that works fine because we begin with an alphabet. In the next instance you can see we are using an underscore rules which also makes sense because underscores are allowed. That's rule number three. Let's take a look at rule number four. Rule number four says Choose easily readable identifier names. You're not the only person who works alone on a project. You always work in a team. And as far as a team is concerned, a name like bus cap doesn't make much sense. Rather, if you meant business capital, 
that is what you should be mentioning so that all your developers who are your colleagues and friends in your team are able to understand what you're conveying them as far as your literal is concerned so always use readable identifier names which make sense to other developers who work with you you shouldn't be using hungarian notations it is not a crime to use them but it is not sensible either something like a str first name or i for integer hardly makes sense it may confuse your developer friends and colleagues so avoid names like str first name or i age to represent i for integer rather use first name rather use instead of using i age use age that keeps things simple and clean to understand so brevity is important but at the same time your data should be readable so the next point is favor readability over brevity brevity means to cut short things to keep them short and simple but here we favor readability rather than keeping things short let's understand why if you look at this message there are two methods here which are two literals show message is a meaningful method to use because it says that you want to display some message to the end user rather than just using message which is small but it is confusing because message could mean that you are reading something or writing something you've got no clue but show message clearly means you want to display some message to the end user so use a, a more readable format as far as the name is concerned rather than a short name start with the lower case characters when you define variables and use camel case when you have more than a single word so as you can see we've got two words here for our variable selling price and we're using a camel case where selling is the first word its first letter starts with a smaller s let's take a practical example and see what we're talking about the parameters in our case right now selling price is using camel case notation even the variables like first name and i are using camel case notation so for variables and for parameter names always prefer camel casing for everything else you'll be using pascal casing in pascal casing the first words first letter is an upper case character the rest of the words that follow all are camel cased for example the classes structures methods properties constants and many more things except the parameters and variables will use pascal casing like the class here is using pascal casing the console class is pascal cased the right line method is the show message function is and finally your constant is so all these use pascal casing variables and parameters use camel casing thanks for your valuable time if you feel you have learned something new today please click on the like button below if you have any queries or suggestions kindly post them down in the comment section below